Hello, hello. Um, I'm just gonna turn my music down. Tell me if it's too loud. It's loud on my end. Um, I don't know if you guys can even hear it. I'm getting sick of the music though. <laughs> you guys know that Spotify thing came out today that, oh gosh, my microphone's loud. Um, that Spotify thing came out today about the music, like your music of 2021. My top artist was Stream Beats by Harris Heller. So I really need to find another um, music track, guys. Music um, for our streams. Which I might try and do over Christmas break. Um, I'm thinking, Fiona's is a bit loud. Uh, is it fixed now, Fiona? And also, is my audio okay? Um, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe getting, what's that uh, thing that you can get with, you pay money and you get music? That you, you some of the YouTubers do it. Uh, I'm thinking maybe you're trying that. Martin also just got um, Invato Elements for a year, which is like this other thing that has lots of um, graphics and templates and music. So I might see if they have stuff on there that I can use copyright free. Um, anyway, oh, it's really warm in here. I opened the window again, but I'm sweating. Um, let's say hi. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Liz. Hi, Lorna. Liz came home from hot yoga and is eating. Lovely. Um, how was hot yoga, Liz? Hi, Katie. Hi, Wendy. Um, and there has to be a flaw because I listen to ACDC all the time and none of their songs in my top 100 songs. Yeah, there are some songs that um, I think maybe it does it towards the end of the year because there's some songs in there that are, it says that are like my top listen to, but I've only listened to them over the last couple of months since I've known them. So yeah, I'm not sure. Um, and Barbara's here. Hi, Barbara. Glad I could make it live. Yay, me too. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly move move my windows around. Because um, when I have YouTube open, it, it, I can see how many people are watching and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it because it freaks me out if there's less people or if there's more people I just don't like it so I hide that and I can just have the chat epidemic sound yeah I think that's the one Fiona all right so let me just sip some water I haven't actually looked on Instagram for the last hour um, to see if anyone put any more prompts up let's have a look okay it's just Martin did it so that's fine <laughs> just Martin I did tell him to do that. I said, Martin, can you please put a prompt on there? Because no one's picked oil pastels and I really want to pick oil. I really want to draw with oil pastels. So, oh, actually, they're here. Okay. All right. So, guys, what we're doing tonight is um, I thought we'd do something fun. Well, I don't know if it's going to be fun. It could be boring. But uh, so on Instagram, I asked if, if people could tell me something to draw and something to draw with. Um, I think most people thought I meant uh, I would put the two together. But actually, what I wanted to do is get like just a list of things to draw on a list of um, things to draw with and then do like random pairs. So I have them in here and there were quite a few duplicates. I think about five people chose colored pencil. So I had to, um, I just added a couple more. I think I just added, oh, crayons, which is behind me. One sec. Here we go. Um, crayon. normal crayons not near colors okay so what I did what I did what I did what I, what I have done um, is I popped the materials in here and I popped the um, things to draw here and I have all the materials in front of me so we have some oil pastels to the side that you can't see two types of colored pencils that I don't normally draw with I thought that'd be fun so we got the Tombos and the Poskas uh, dip pen and ink um, near colors gouache crayons markers and that's it I don't know how many we're going to get through, but I just thought it'd be fun. Oh, and graphite pencil. Graphite pencil. I don't know if Artie's here yet, but she chose graphite pencil. Because she knows I don't like it. <laughs> I think that's just cruel. Actually, I have been using graphite pencil a lot lately, so joke's on you. Alright, um, so I'm just going to get everything off the desk. And we can pick our first pair, which will be fun. Um, let me just take my watch off. It's telling me that I can do it, or it just told me that I could do it. It said, 
April, there's still time to do it. A quick 40 minute walk is all it takes or something like that. Yesterday it told me, April, a quick one minute walk is all it takes to close your rings. And I was like, I can do that. And I went to the toilet and I closed my rings. Um, all right, so let's see. Okay, you missed the first little bit, not a problem. We didn't chat that much. Sometimes I forget it's a stream, so I'll pause while I go to the bathroom. That's funny. I do that sometimes when I'm watching lives. Um, I might have it on your account. I'm not sure what you mean, Fiona. You can do my suggestion with all the pastels. Um, I'm gonna pick them randomly, so we're gonna see. Uh, okay, so wait, you have been using graphite pencil? Yeah, I've been using it to do my stuff for folktale week. Um, and also when I use oil pastels, I've been using it too. Who are you and what have you done with a real April? I've been using, uh, where is it? Let me, I've been, uh, I, didn't, I didn't tidy my desk, but I did move things. Oh, it's over here, the black wing. I've been using this one. I think you can count this as a graphite pencil. It's the black wing pencil, which is really nice. You can see how short it is. See, I've been using it, I promise. And I also have this one tonight, graphite. And also, I don't know if this is a trick. I can't remember. I think it was Casey who chose it. So Casey, tell me if this is um, a cheating. But I have this graphitint pencil. I think this is graphite, but it's also watercolor. So I think that may be cheating. No, wait, who chose it? Artie chose it. All right, um, I may have liked a few of your pictures on Instagram. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead, like, like you go on a like fest, I don't mind. Um, all right, we're gonna pick them randomly. I'm not looking. Alright, first one of the night is cats with neo colours. Nice. And then what I thought, um, I'm, tonight I'm gonna do, oh, in case you chose a dip pen, cool. Tonight I'm gonna just use paper, which I just got, um, I've got it from a sketchbook, I just tore it up, tore a sketchbook up. Let me see if this is too low. Gosh, the camera's so high tonight, I can barely reach it. Can I make it a little bit lower? Is it making it higher or lower? I honestly could not handle, <laughs> could not handle the camera sometimes. You should set it on like auto or something, you just, and when I set it on auto, it just, uh, it just goes too dark, you know? Okay, um, right, let's stop messing around. Let's go find some cats. So if you are playing at home, uh, you can try and draw along with me if you want the references and also, try and do the same material at no not at cat should we say cute cat see what we get oh my gosh so cute i think i've drawn this cat before should we draw this one he's nice and ginger i do like a ginger cat so yeah i'm gonna draw him i'm just gonna draw like one thing per and kind of like like a mini like make like a little little mini drawings i don't know how this is gonna deal with ink or with paint so we could have a problem with that. Uh, what a gorgeous boy gal. Yes, very cute. Don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I think he looks like a boy. I think all cats are boys though, to be fair. Let's move that off the desk. Um, Emma, see you. hi Emma. All right, so just gonna go straight in. No pencil or nothing. Live life dangerously, live on the edge. And then we can have a chat once we once we get going. Is anyone uh, following along tonight? Should we do the eyes first? No. Let's do the ginger bits first. Um, yeah. Is anyone following along? If you're not following along, what are you what are you guys doing? What are you up to? Are you drawing? Are you just chilling? Are you are you washing the dog? I always say that. I always worry that people are gonna be like, oh god, April, it's not even funny. You say it every week. I just think it's funny the, the idea of someone washing a dog and watching a live stream I don't know just that just makes me happy just thinking about it just listening I'm making a Christmas wreath next oh I'm making a Christmas wreath thing for my front door oh cool I thought for some reason I thought you said I'm making a Christmas wreath for my neighbor that's why I had to read it again there was this a Christmas wreath um let me zoom in a bit because I just realized the paper is really small. There was this Christmas wreath class that Martin linked me to the other day. And he's he, it was in our village hall. Is that making a darker or lighter? Yeah. 
it was in our village hall the village hall in the village which they have quite a lot of stuff and we, we've been meaning to like do more stuff there and kind of like get into village life uh even though it's we're like the youngest people in the village i think <laughs> i think everyone's probably 60 and over but uh, it's still nice to meet people and so we've been thinking about trying to get into like more doing more stuff with the village but the problem is it's all in the daytime and also it's kind of stuff that sometimes we don't know if like we would like it one of the things that martin linked me the other day was a christmas wreath class which sounds really fun like they bring they use their own materials and stuff so they bring all, they bring all the materials they supply everything basically um and it's i think it was like three hours long but it was i think it was 45 pounds per person which i don't know i've never done a christmas wreath class and i've never really done an art class so i don't know how much the materials cost or anything like that but to me that seemed pretty steep for a christmas wreath just to make a christmas wreath especially if there was two of us it would be like 90 pounds so we didn't go in the end and then there's this thing on saturday which um i kind of want to go to martin's martin's deciding if he wants to go to it because <laughs> it's a bit weird it's like this um this guy and it's storytelling but it's this guy and it's like a one man can one man band kind of thing where he has music and he storytells with music and also with words i guess and there's kind of like this play but also music i don't quite know what it is martin told me his website was really weird but i don't know sounds kind of fun so we might do that on saturday night i'm just working on drawing a new color and sheet so you draw in all the lines like staying within wait color and sheets color within the lines but you're doing the line work you're doing the line work for it I used to want to do colour in sheets, I thought that sounded kind of fun. But as I got more into art, I realised I really have no patience to be neat and tidy. So I don't really think I don't really think it would suit me. But they do sound fun. I'm browsing for Christmas presents for the family. Oh Emma, what are you gonna get them? I'm sure no one I'm sure no one in your family watches this, so you're totally safe. <laughs> Hello, the sketches from Emma's stream. Emma's stream is that Emma Carla? That's cool. Uh, you should make some Digby coloring sheets, maybe. Maybe I don't know. I did make a coloring sheet one time for uh, Patreon, and I don't know if anyone ever used it. It was I can't even remember what it was now. But yeah, I made a colour sheet for Patreon and I remember it took so long and I didn't enjoy it. Like making it, the process of it. Alright, I don't know what colour this is. Here we go, I've got some paper over here. We can use as tests. It's like a nice brown colour. I think this is sepia. Yeah, I can see, I have like all the colours over there on the wall. So if I squint my eyes, I think I can, I can see the, the names as sepia. Cool, okay. Let's do this, like this then, this fluffy boy. Um, ding done. Okay, Liz. Liz is gonna quickly do some like speed washing up or something, I guess. I haven't got a clue what to buy. I know parents, well, I don't know about what family members you're buying for, but I find like parents quite hard to buy for. Uh, in my family, now this sometimes People think this is a bit strange but my family we don't buy each other Christmas presents um, we never really have like when we were kids we did but I cause I grew up in New Zealand I think most of you guys know uh, for most of my childhood from when I was 12 to when I was like 24 and I had 24 as a child but looking back now it's very young still I think uh, and yeah it's summer over there at Christmas so a lot of the time, it's summer holidays as well. So it's not like this huge build up for one day. We used to spend a lot of um, our Christmases just on summer holiday or like at the beach or having a barbecue. And it was more about kind of being with family and being outside and enjoying nature and stuff. Um, then, you know, like, like in England and the UK, I think especially, um, it's kind of cold and dark and damp and you just want to be inside and cozy and eating all the mince pies and 
yeah i don't know i guess that like part of the culture goes with christmas presents like commercialism i don't remember new zealand being very commercial commercialized when i was younger um like your presents and stuff or maybe my parents just told me that because they didn't have to buy anything <laughs> which is also a distinct possibility like i've made his head so big and his face tiny this is a problem with not sketching but it's fine it's fine he's still cutie pie um so what was i saying oh yeah so we've never bought each other um christmas presents i buy my mum birthday presents and uh like my sister and everyone and I, I buy quite good birthday presents, I think. And I brought my mum an air fryer for her birthday last year. But, um, yeah. So I don't have to buy for anyone. <laughs> apart from Martin. And sometimes I treat myself. But uh, Martin buys for his family. And then uh, buys for his family and his parents. And then he just says it's for me too. Even though I haven't bought it. But, yeah. He always struggles with buying Christmas presents for them. Alright, what do you guys think of this cat? I can't really do anything about his face now. It's a problem with neo colours. You can't really change it very easily. It kind of looks like Tiger. Tiger Cat. Oh, Tiger actually is one of the um, prompts too. So that's cool. Maybe this can be for both. All right, let's draw its surroundings. We pop it on, a, on the log. I haven't bought a few colour books. I have bought a few colour books, but when I sit down to colour, I want to go draw my own thing. Yeah, that's... I think I would, don't think I would ever just draw colour in pages. But I know they're popular with some people. I didn't really like colour in books when I was younger either. So maybe that's part of it. I always like drawing my own thing. Uh, she streamed an hour ago. Oh, cool. Um, is that on Patreon? I don't think she's just not streamed anywhere else does she i think she does um i want to put some green in there but i don't know because green and orange is quite it's okay i guess like i guess they are complementary and whatever but i was kind of going for an all pink orange theme i should probably actually use my streams to do some work Sometimes I think about that. I'm like, oh, I just use my streams to just chill out and just like do random stuff. But I should probably use them to actually do some work. Like right now I'm working on the Children's Book Pro course. So I'm doing lots of Hansel and Gretel. And I really should be working on that tonight. But uh, I don't know. I just, I don't want people to get bored of the same thing. Do you guys mind if I would, would work on like my own projects and stuff? Even if it's kind of like a bit boring. Because I know that you're just here for the banter, right? Oh man, what we drew on stream last week though, I'm really happy with that. The, uh, if you guys remember the possum that we drew, it was so popular on Instagram, I was like, whoa. I was gonna make it into a print this week, but I completely forgot. I bought my mom new lamps that match her living room and some decor pieces. That's a really nice present, I love lamps. I wouldn't mind more lamps actually. Because then you don't have to have the harshness of like a, a ceiling light, which always has such harsh shadows. We don't buy many presents just for close family, especially as I usually don't get to spend Christmas with them. That's true. Sometimes that's a good thing though, because you don't have to like, there's no pressure to, to like go out and get heaps of, shit, heaps of stuff. My and I are going to go Christmas shopping at the weekend. Um, we're going <laughs> to split out from each other for like an hour and buy Christmas presents, just like stocking stuff, I guess. Like the little bits and pieces that we see in town. We did it last year and we kept bumping into each other and having to like hide our bags. It's kind of fun. I have published six coloring books, so I'm working on a new one. That's a lot. Are they popular, Katie? Who buys them? Is it like an older, an older um, clientele or is it kids? This is whoever you market it for, right? Um, cool, 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 cool. I don't want to do all the trees in the background. So I, I just realized his tail was completely coming off the tree stump. I mean, this isn't observational, guys. <laughs> it's inspirational. It's inspired by the piece, not 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 observed at all. Uh, it was on her Patreon on Zoom in Extra Stream. That's cool. Oh, it's on December today, isn't it? 
Might, uh, I was thinking about joining a few more patrons this month, but I don't think I will. I think I'll hold off until the new year, just to save a bit of money still. There was some that I wanted to join, I can't remember who it was now. It was, uh, maybe it was, no, I don't think it was Sarah Van Dongen, it was, it was someone that I don't really know that well. She's an artist on Instagram, but I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you the name right now. Uh, completely blanked on it. But yeah, I was gonna join. I guess I can't if I can't remember who it was. Uh, I'm sure I'll find it. I wish that, is there a thing on Patreon that you could, you can follow people, can't you, on Patreon, but not be be a patron of theirs? Maybe I need to do that when I find someone that I wanna be a patron of, like in the future. Maybe I should, um, like, follow them. Cause then you can, then I can remember, like remember who it was I was meant to, meant to join. But now I'm gonna, I'm doing Sarah Dyer again this month. And then in the new year, I might have a little change about I change it up every few months just because you can't you can't you can't support everyone at the same time unless you're unless you're you know very rich because it all adds up guys I would love to see those and um, I love to feel like I have company while I work I would love to see those um I'm confused what are you guys talking about Oh, right, right, right. You're talking about what I asked. Sometimes I ask questions and I completely forget what I asked. Okay, I would love to see those and I love to feel like I have company when I work. Okay, cool, cool. You can work if you like it. It's still arty stuff. That's true. Of course not. Please do work. Okay, guys. Forget everything. No, I'm just joking. Maybe I'll do it next week. I also think that sometimes uh, I feel pressured when I'm on stream to do like good stuff, which is why sometimes I just do random stuff like this. Because uh, it's for me, it's just about um, hanging out with you guys and chatting. I don't really. Some people, I think, you stream to like get stuff done, but I really, I don't feel like I can really get stuff done <laughs> when I have an audience. And sometimes it's just a fluke if something um, awesome comes out of it, like last week the possum, which I did not expect to be so cool, um, came out of it. You know, it's just like a happy accident. What do you guys think of the sun? This kitty so far. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Meow. This is what I imagine he's saying in his head. <laughs> oh, Possum Family is gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, it was cute. Uh, okay, Katie's off, and so is Wendy to find a glue gun. What is she gluing? Oh, she's gluing her Christmas wreath, isn't she? So I've been very busy at work this week. How have you guys been with your jobs or school or family life? Uh, this week, I think I, do, I can't remember if I mentioned it on the last week's stream, but uh, we're making this new video at work and there's a lot of uh, illustration involved. So it's really fun, but it just means that I'm basically drawing all day. So it's quite tiring because you like have to be creative pretty much all day. And then, you know, I still wanna do my own stuff in the evening. And also my whole body has been sore this week because normally when I'm at work, I'm on After Effects pretty much all day um, or like emails, whatever, um, or meetings. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty in meetings. So I'm just like, I normally sit, you know, like a normal person would at the computer and you can't see my hands, but my hands are always like moving. So I'm always like sitting and sometimes yeah, I cross my legs and stuff, but I'm never like slumping or slouching. And this week I've just been, and last week I've just been drawing. So my posture has completely gone out the window. I'm just like slumping. You can't see me, but I was trying to do like an upward slump. You guys know, you guys know what I mean. Uh, and just the worst posture all week long, like over my iPad um, or over my, like not a sketchbook, paper, I was using paper today. I was using this paper actually, which is why I cut some up. Uh, so yeah, I have just been so sore. I need to do some exercise after the stream, I think. I might do some Beat Saber or something, just to like loosen up a bit, because I feel like I've been sitting down all day long. Sarah's here and she is lurking. No problem, Sarah, you lurk away. Uh, all right, cool, so that's one down. <laughs> warm up sketch, guys, warm up sketch. Uh, the other seven will be warm up sketches as well, I'm sure. So we're not going to use these again tonight, probably. Say goodbye to Neo Colors. And was anyone else drawing along? Did anyone else draw a cat? A ginger cat? 
Um, Maria's here. Hi, Maria. I'm not. I can't, don't know if I've seen you in stream before. Have you popped up? Hi, if you're new. Liz is very busy too. This is the first time I'm drawing in a week. What are you drawing tonight, Liz? Could you hear me swallowing? That was very loud. Um, what did I look for to find the cat? I just searched for cat cute. And then it was literally the first one there. But now we're going to search for something different because... Da -da 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 -da, drum roll, please. We're going to pick two more. So I'm not looking. I'm not cheating, guys. Okay, so we're going to do mice and a dip pen. So I don't know if Katie's back yet, but Katie chose dip pen and someone else chose mice. So now we're going to try this. Now this is really thin paper. Do you guys want to see the sketchbook I get from? Mm. This is a sketchbook. Sylvine, A4, 40 pages, 140 GSM sketchbook craft cover it's basically just like the cheapest sketchbook you could think of it's like the cheapest paper it works quite well with um pencils and things i don't think it's going to work well with dip pen at all and i don't think it's going to work well with markers either but we shall see so for the ink tonight i have this new ink that i got a couple of months ago and i've only used it a couple of times i'm just now remembering that i didn't i didn't um clean out my palette which i was meant to have this here which is very old and dusty maybe we can give it a bit of a clean um i'm not done yet so i need to find the reference okay cool no problem um it's right here let's i'll keep it on the screen for you so you can see it while we're doing stuff oh i hate when it does this when it like like when it doesn't show the reference properly it's very annoying Liz, you can see half the cat there. Uh, you can see half the cat. I'm sorry. I, it's just sometimes the the, pin, the Pinterest is being weird. I think it's because I'm on a Mac. All right, I'm just gonna give this a real quick clean. This is definitely probably I would not the way to work, I guess. But it's the way I work because a I'm lazy and b I mean really there's only there's only one excuse. So I'm lazy. All right, that would do. Maybe this actually had ink in it before too. So I think it's okay. Although I don't know why I'm using a palette. It's a dip pen. I just dip into the ink, right? Yeah. yeah. Dip into the ink. Okay. Um, let's see. Maria says hello. And then I think she said, first time. I always catch up later. Yay, first time. Where, where are you from? Where are you watching from? I always wonder when people um, catch up if it's because they're in a different time zone. And if now you're watching it's because you woke up at like 3 a.m. or something. All right, dip pen, I've got my ink. Very careful not to spill it. And I had my dip pen, here it is. And now we're gonna find some mice. I'm gonna do them long ways this time. I think there's a professional term for that. <laughs> long ways. Uh, landscape, so professional. All right, oh gosh, did you see that almost? mice oh look how cute guys the mice are so cute are mice adorable well let's do this one like three little mice in a row that one could be quite difficult we have mice in our garden and as long as they stay in our garden they're fine we don't mind them in the garden they are really cute when we feed the birds in the morning uh, the mice come out and they pick up all the bird seed that the, that the birds drop on the floor. They are really cute. Uh, the, we, there's three of them. Actually, there's three of them and there's three in this picture. Well, that's, I don't know if that's uh, fate. All right, I don't know if this is going to work because it is liquid watercolor, so it should be okay. Remember last time we did dip pen on stream, we used the acrylic paint and it didn't didn't work and also broke broke the glass pen which Fiona I believe you um, messaged me no you didn't message you said in chat to sand it down and I did sand it down 
and I, I haven't tried it yet. Maybe we can try it now. Uh, it worked with the sand in, but I haven't actually tried it yet. I think it's very blunt, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll give it a go. Um, I won't do it on this picture, we'll just do it on some like spare paper. Um, what was this in? <laughs> I always, uh, always, always run out of the words in my head. Uh, Fiona says, are you in school? Fiona, do you mean me? Am I in school? Wish I was in school. I'm not in school. I work as a motion graphic designer by day. I love saying that. It always makes me feel like a superhero. And by night, I make dinner, watch TV, save the world. Um, no, I mainly just make dinner and watch TV and do some drawing but uh no i'm not in school i don't know if you're asking me but that's the answer i i don't know why i always seem to draw i always like this this string i started where his hand is but then i don't know it looks off to me also it doesn't look like a mouse do you know his head doesn't look mice like to me it looks almost like a little mole or something uh maria's in mexico 1 30 p.m that's awesome i'd love to go to mexico and eva's from germany germany that's that's quite close to our time zone right i think it's only like an hour out maybe Mice are so hard to draw. That someone chose mice, and I when I saw the prompt, when I saw their comment, I was like, oh god, no. And then someone else put down frog, and I don't know which one I was more scared about, the mice or the frogs. I think you can draw frogs wrong, and they'll still look cute. Like you can draw them really derpy, but uh, I don't know if you can draw mice wrong and they'll look cute. I think they'll just look wrong. We're gonna find out together though. <laughs> so uh, watch out for that all right i'm gonna draw the thingy here the stalk kind of runs through these guys this is a cute picture though like even if this drawing turns out a bit dumb at least you've managed to look at these cute mice for like 15 minutes you know katie's back hi katie um katie i'm using the dip pen with my hydrus watercolor and this watercolor is actually really lovely i'll show you on this page here maybe we can do some even on here but it's such a beautiful color and i have the brown one as well i haven't really used them yet look how lovely look how nice that color it's like a muted it's kind of hard to see because the reflection of the light but it's like this lovely muted blue it's so nice and i have the sepia one as well which is like brown Hey, it's just here. Ordered from your Etsy shop. Uh, love, love, love the stickers. Yay. I'll leave you a review soon. Review soon. Uh, words. Okay. Thanks, Jess. And hi. Thanks for ordering some stickers. I don't know what stickers you ordered. Uh, someone ordered stickers. I don't know if this was you, Jess. I hope it wasn't. But someone ordered. Did I mention this on stream last, last week? Someone ordered a sticker that um, I it was out of stock. And it did it didn't it didn't have the option to select it in the in the thing but it did have the photo of it still on etsy so they just wrote it in and which is fine because people normally just write it in what they want into the description it's like a pick and mix pick three and i didn't have it and i felt really bad so i just refunded them and sent the other two because uh, i didn't no one responded to me and i didn't know what to do and some, that's like the second time I've had a situation where I didn't know what to do because no one got back to me and I was like oh god don't be angry at me I'm sorry but um yeah I'm not making stickers anymore I think I mentioned it my printer my printer just doesn't like the sticker paper anymore and I don't want to risk breaking my printer because it's really expensive all right on a scale of one to ten ten being 
Oh my God, it's a mouse in the house. And one being, um, what is that? That wasn't a very good, that wasn't a very good one to 10. Okay, 10 being, oh wow, it's definitely a mouse. And one being, it's a rodent of some sort, I think. Uh, how mouse-like do these look? And look, I put the eye on the other side of the face even though it's not there in real life because it freaks me out not seeing both eyes. Let me draw some whiskers because that makes everyone, oh, look, it's a mouse now. Wow, okay. Oh yes, I can see it's definitely a mouse. All right, should we see how this this is with um, ink, uh, not ink. Should we see how it is with uh, water? On this paper. I'm interested to find out. Uh, I mean, oh, I meant me. You meant, no. Okay, Fiona meant me because you said something about coursework. Yes, uh, I'm not in school technically, but I'm doing an um, uh, online course from SVS Learn, which is the guys they do um, the podcast, Three Point Perspective, Jake Parker, Will Terry, and the other dude. Lee White, he's like my favorite. Lee White's my favorite out of the three and I always forget his name. Um, they're really cool. And they have a, a school called SVS Learn and they did a children's book course. They did it like a year and a half ago. They started their first one and I did it a year and a half ago. I started it, but I didn't finish it. I got up to week three. So I restarted it again this year. They let me into the classes again. I already had the classes, you keep them, you keep them like, like as a lifelong thing. But they have a Zoom session every week and they let me into the Zoom session, which was really cool. So I got to do the Zoom sessions again. Ah, this water is delicious. Guys, do you ever just drink water and you think, is there anything better on earth? I don't get people that don't like water. I get that water has different flavours everywhere you go. When we go down south and stay with Martin's parents, I have to bring bottled water because I hate the water down there. But oh, I just love water, guys. I love water so much. It's always been my favourite drink. Um, right. Let's see if this is going to work with... I'm just really curious to see if this works. So I'm not quite sure if we should dip it into the ink. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. What can go wrong? It's just literally like a sketch. You know what? I think this paper, this paper is actually going to be quite okay. Gosh, that's so dark and thick. That sounded wrong, but it's so lovely, the colour. I'm the one who encouraged you to keep taking pictures of Ambleside. Oh man, I don't need much encar encouragement because it is beautiful there. I really wanted to go on the boat last time we went, but it was raining. And I do love being on the boat on the water there because normally we go, well, the only times we've really been out in summer when it's quite busy. Uh, and also it's like all the hills are very green and full of life. It's, summer is nice, but I personally love winter here. And also we just went through our first autumn, which was also amazing. But I just love winter. I love the colours of the hills. I love how desolate almost it looks. Um, it's just so beautiful. And also on the boat you can see all the fells and it's really quiet too because it's winter so not many people go on the boat. Uh, but yeah, we didn't get a chance but we're actually going to go back to Bonus on Windermere this Saturday for a walk. No, this Sunday for a walk. So I'm going to maybe ask Martin if we can go on the boat again and I'll take some more pictures. Just gotta be careful of my top. And this is Jess's top from Jess was here and I don't want to get anything on it. But I wore this top last week. I remembered as I was getting ready for stream, I was like, did I wear this last week? But it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's clean. Don't worry, guys. We did so much laundry today. Like three loads of laundry. Um, okay, Liz thinks it's a rodent. Doesn't look like a mouse, Liz. That's all right, Liz. Just you being honest is fine. Uh, the far left one definitely looks like a mouse, this one here, okay. I mean, look, right now it doesn't look like much of anything. It's just a bit of a mess. But it's fine, because I just love playing with this ink. It's so nice. Maybe when it's dry, we can go over with, like white pen or something. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. 
<laughs> I probably won't ever touch this again. What I was actually thinking, these sketches, they probably none of them are gonna turn out very good, which is fine, because we're just here for the, the chats. Um, maybe I could cut them up and use them for collage. That can be kind of fun. All right, so we got um, ma our moose. That's, that's three mices in a row. Moose, three moose. Oh, I always forget how the camera's high up. All right, we put this one aside and now we're gonna move on to the next one. Yeah, I didn't really like the mice. I can't, I can honestly say I'm not really a big fan of drawing mice. But hey, when you ask people for suggestions, you gotta take what they give you, you know? I was thinking about leaving a couple out actually, but I didn't, I left everyone's in. All right, let's, we're gonna, we have a uh, nine, by the way. I only have eight pieces of paper though. But we're gonna see how many we can get through. All right, you ready? Next set. Please be something I can draw. Please be something I can draw. All right. Oh, Jesus. Oh no, this is another one I don't want to put in. <laughs> Christmas Prezi. Ugh, Christmas, guys. It's December first. It's barely Christmas. Martin was like, "Should we get our Christmas tree next week?" No, Martin. So we're gonna wait until at least December the 10th. Um, no, I think I said like December 20th. I said December 20th. He was like, the Christmas, the Christmas, there won't be any Christmas trees by then. I'm like, oh, it's not Christmas yet. We walked, we walked past a house and they had the Christmas wreath and he was playing Christmas music last night. And I'm thinking it's November 30th, 31st. I can't remember how many days are in November. <laughs> it's the last day of November. I'm such a Grinch. Okay, this one is Posca pens, which are these boys. Uni Poscas. I also have a few in here that aren't Posca pens, but we'll ignore those. Sorry. Sorry, Derwin. Uh, sorry to hear that. No, I don't think it was me. Yay. I had no issues with my order. I love your mouse. Super cute. Thank you. The whiskers worked. I was thinking mini polar bears. Oh my gosh, yes, Emma. Mini polar bear. Mini mini polar bears. I think that our whiskers may have saved her though. Uh, I don't get that people don't like water either. Neither. What is amazing? I love the water at my house because it comes out out from the well, and it's good. Yeah, Morgan, you chose the mouse. I didn't want to call you out because I don't know if you're watching. Um, Morgan, did you see my mice? They were so bad. Huh. Morgan chose the mouse. Just so you know. Everyone blame her. <laughs> For the terrible mice. No, I'm just joking. Um, Alright, cool. So, Christmas Prezi coloured pencils. Now, I'm not going to draw a Christmas present, guys, okay? Because, like I mentioned, I'm the Grinch. I'm not getting into the Christmas spirit for at least another two and a half weeks. So, although, actually, come to think about it, I do have my advent calendar. So advent calendars don't count. What do you want to get for Christmas? And I'll pick one of those things to draw. I think that'd be a good idea. Oh, I drink water all day. I'm lucky to live where the water tastes good. Yeah. I think it's in this in the north here, the water is harder. Uh, and in the south it's softer. So I think if you get used to a certain hardness of water, it's very difficult to like change. Change your flavours. But then you get used to it, don't you, when you move? Um all the time I love water, yay! So many people like water here. I thought that when I said that, everyone would be like, boo, water. I like water, but I get a bit bored of it sometimes, yeah. When I met Martin, he used to drink squash all the time, like cordial that you mix with water, and he he hated water, and now he drinks water all the time, and he has squash once a day, I think. And they say you can't change a person. <laughs> <laughs> If you just keep giving them water, they'll drink it eventually. They'll get thirsty enough. <laughs> uh, Alright. So I'm just making myself laugh right now. You gotta you gotta entertain yourself. I entertain myself all the time. I love it. That's the funniest person I know. Oh, did Wendy, did you suggest the mice? I thought Morgan did, and I feel bad. I get everyone mixed up in on Instagram. Um oh, I sent to get my Christmas tree today, I forgot. Liz is first of December, chill out. You had your, you've had your decorations out for a week. Um, who, um, what did, now I'm confused, what, what did you choose? Because now I feel bad that I yelled at you on stream. 
because Morgan has the best um the best art sessions ever and she always makes us draw things that we maybe we don't want to draw but are fun oh yeah okay you chose frog which I also didn't want to draw um new slippers oh slippers art supplies okay I suggest the frog, yeah, okay. I like the idea of slippers or shoes. I actually do need a new pair of running shoes. Should we do shoes, like fun shoes? What shoes should we do? Running shoes? I need a new pair of running shoes, guys. Mine, the hill, all the hills have gone out the back and they hurt my feet now when I walk in them. I don't run in them, but uh, I do walk in them and they hurt. Some fun shoes. Shoes are kind of boring though to draw, aren't they? Clogs? Oh my god, clogs. Can you imagine getting a pair of clogs for your um for Christmas? Like these clogs? Oh, I thought you meant like the traditional clogs. It's kind of fun. Should we do this lady here? Should we just do like half a half a body? That's kind of fun. Alright, with colored pencil, Posca pencils. Froggy slippers, oh my gosh, so cute. Then I can do two in one. Sorry guys, I'm just changing my mind. Oh my word. Oh my word, look how cute these are. I saw these crazy socks on Inst being advertised on Instagram the other day. Uh, they were so fun. They were like, I can't explain them to you, but they, okay, so like, it was someone's foot, right? And then, okay, this is, the foot was upside down. And then the slippers were like crocodiles that went around like this. And then the teeth came up like this onto the person's foot. And then I had like an eye. Um, and I can't remember what it had here but obviously so like it was upside down like this so it like a crocodile but basically it's like this like the crocodile is eating the foot and there were heaps of them like all different animals with like huge mouths eating the people's foot so cool i think they would annoy me though uh okay my pinterest isn't working like my back button isn't working for some reason oh my god these are cute okay let's do these guys i would want these for a christmas present these froggy slippers froggy socks Okay, I actually like frogs. I'm just not a fan of drawing them. You know, as uh, so when we went, uh, I had to take the bin out. The bin out. I think I had to take the bin out or something a couple of weeks ago. And was it Martin? Yeah, I think it was Martin because we've seen similar things on the path at night time. But uh, I saw I saw a lizard the uh, a couple of weeks ago on the path and I almost stepped on it. And but Martin. Uh, saw a frog in on the on our like garden path that goes out to our gate and it was huge it was like this big and it was just in the middle of the path and he took a photo for me i guess it went into the garden somewhere um but yeah we just find like the most random things on our path because especially when it's like dark and wet and all the critters come out i guess uh i was thinking the traditional wooden one okay well we have gone way past that you know um I've got the Monday. God, I'm getting you guys mixed up today. I have some froggy wellies and as a as a kid, green frog wellies. I had some froggy wellies as a kid, green frog wellies. That does sound cute. Love the froggy slippers. Drawn shoes is the worst. Yeah, drawn shoes is quite hard actually, isn't it? I don't mind. I used to like drawing feet. Especially when we had to do life drawing in uni. I used to love drawing feet. I found them a lot easier than hands. And they also kind of, they're kind of strange. Like they do look kind of fun. Um, but shoes, I guess, sh yes, they're hard. That's why I draw all of my characters with triangle feet like this. <laughs> oh, I draw them with triangle feet like this. And then sometimes if, if, I, if I want to be fancy and it's a boot or a high heel, just like that. Uh, I just saw that ad for the sock sock slippers too. Fiona, do you remember the brand? Cause they're so cool, and I kind of wanted to uh, tell Martin to get me some for Christmas, but I probably wouldn't wear them. Things like that, they're really cute to look at, but um, I think they would irritate me. Like, 
I can't, I love the thought of really nice, um, really nice, thick, woolly, crazy jumpers, like really nice patterns. And there's this one jumper, it's in a shop in the UK called Jules, if you guys know it, know it. And I think it's called Jules. And it's like this really cool sh patterned Christmas, Christmassy jumper. And every time we go in there, I have to go over to it. And I'm like, so sometimes I ask Martin if I can just pop in to have a look at it. And he'll just like tag along with me and I'll just hold it and touch it. And I'll be like, isn't this the best? I've done it maybe five times in the, over the last couple of months. But I'll never get it because I just won't wear it because I'm hot. Like I'm boiling right now and I'm just in this one very thin sweater and I'm like sweating my nuts off. I don't even have nuts, but if I did, my word, they would be sweaty right now. I don't know, is this a family friendly stream? I don't, I don't think it is, guys. I just said live on the internet that I'm sweating my nuts off and I don't even have nuts. Oh, sometimes I have to wonder what, what I'm, why you guys watch me. Anyway. Let's get back on topic. <laughs> we were watching, um, do you guys know Ramesh Ranganathan? He's a comedian and he's got a new Netflix special out. And we were watching him uh, at lunchtime. We watched like half of it and then we watched the other half at dinner. And he's so funny. And some of it, you know, like sometimes you watch a comedian and you're just kind of like chuckling, but some of his jokes like literally laugh out loud. Like, not even the, the not not like the abbreviation either like actually laughing out loud so if you guys want a little bit of a laugh in your life i would definitely suggest that so the thing with this uh, doodling thing that i'm doing tonight with your guys' suggestions is i'm just going to try and use the one material so even though this is really pain painful for me i don't know why do i torture myself on stream like this actually uh, every every time I try and I decide that one of these challenges will be fun. Uh, I think in my head this is gonna be really fun. I'm gonna do some different materials, uh, draw some stuff that I don't normally draw, and then I remember why I don't just use colored pencils on their own. Um, <laughs> I, I don't like them, guys. I don't like them. That's why I'm all about that mixed media. Right, these Posca pencils are quite nice though, I guess. I haven't really used them much since I bought them. Well, they tend to go over pretty much, pretty much everything, they blend okay. I mean, I'm not really a colored pencil connoisseur. What do you guys think? If you like colored pencils, quite nice. Uh, let's draw the happy little smiles. The link is too long for the chat, I'll send it to you on Instagram. Okay. I'll probably see it anyway. I see that, you know, see the same ads over and over. Now that we've spoken about these socks, I'm definitely gonna see ads for them. I feel like they're too much effort on their own. Yeah, I feel like they're too much effort and I can't, I can't fit like my style into them. So here, it just feels really, sketchy but also like like I tried to blend them which I don't really blend things when I'm drawing normally uh, I like to have like block colors and you know like block shapes and lines and stuff I don't really blend just looking at my work over here on the on the easel just checking it out oh yes uh, it's beautiful work but not a single blend there so this to me feels just really ugh. If you don't have the right colour, it's kind of hard to mix them to get a colour you need. Yeah, that's true. So maybe if I just go over it all now with dark green, because I don't like the weird gradient effect it gives. Uh, is anyone doing anything fun at the weekend? Apart from getting, Lizzie, say so you're getting a, 
you were meant to get a Christmas tree today. You're gonna get one at the weekend now. We went to this place last year for a Christmas tree and we're gonna go there again, it was really nice. Uh, they, the mum, it's like a family place and the mum made all of the Christmas wreaths and they were really pretty. Uh, so we're gonna go back there again and get a Christmas tree and maybe it'll be like a little tradition while, while we live in this area anyway. I like, it's fun making little traditions like that when you live somewhere. <laughs> Can you imagine walking with these socks though? They'd be kind of annoying with the hands wobbling around. And fingers, fingers. I love colour pencils but it helps to do a base layer or something else first. I use watercolour pencils underneath but I like to learn to use actual watercolours. What have you been using for your really quick sketches Emma? Have they been watercolour? Because I've been enjoying those a lot. Like watercolour pencil and then I definitely agree with you. I think you need to have a base because sometimes it's hard. Like even here you can see the white kind of coming through. This is lovely colours though in these Puskas. Some of them I'm not quite sure about, like this bright green is a little bit neon-y. But uh, yeah, the colours are nice. I should use them more, but I just love my luminance so much. Morgan's doing a weekend in Wales. Where are you going? In Wales. My, my sister lives in Wales. She lives in Cardiff. She lives in a place called Caffili, I think. Is Caffili a cheese? Did I get that wrong? Is Caffili not a place in Wales? Maybe it's a cheese. Like a nice slice of Caffili on like a, on a toasty. I don't know, I feel like it's a cheese. I, I think it's a place though. But yeah, she lived in Cardiff for like eight years. And I've been to Cardiff a few times, it's really nice. I really love to go to Brecon Beacons in Wales though, in Snowdonia. Is Snowdonia and Brecon Beacons, I think they're the same thing. Are they the same thing? I don't know anything about Wales. I've been there a bunch, but I don't know anything about it. But yeah, sounds nice. That was nice. It's beautiful there. I'd love to go to do the highest peak in Wales. And then once I've done the highest peak here, which is uh, Scarfell, then we just need to do the highest peak in Scotland, which is Ben Nevis. And then, then I would have done the highest peak in the UK. But uh, that's a long way off. That's a long way off. I'm getting ahead of myself. Soon I'll be like planning trips up Everest or something. Uh, Liz is going to get trees tomorrow. Nice. This weekend a friend is coming down from Manchester and we're going to chill with some other friends. So many friends, Liz. We might go, oh, Liz, I thought that said we might go snorkeling. I was going to say, where the hell are we going to go snorkeling at this time of year? But you said go-karting. That sounds a lot um, less chilly than snorkeling. Oh, and I use markers, but you don't really like markers. I don't like markers either that much. Those socks are adorable. They are cute, aren't they? <laughs> I wouldn't mind a pair myself, actually. You, you can probably make socks like this pretty easily, right? If you're like handy, if you're like a handy crafty person. I'm not really handy or crafty. Uh, I can I can pretty much like I sew a button on if I have to, but I would rather just go without that button if you if you guys know what I'm feeling. No 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 if you're picking up what I'm putting down. I would rather just go without that button. Depends where that button was, obviously. Like if it's gonna like leave me butt naked, I probably would sew it up, but I wouldn't enjoy sewing it. Sewing it up. What type of button would have to go missing for you to be completely butt naked? That's that's a lot of uh, work for just a single button to do on its own. Right, well, now that I got off on that tangent, let's just paint these a little bit of yellow here and there. We're staying near Barmouth. Barmouth. Hmm. I don't think I've heard of Barmouth. All right, so we got some socks, guys. Should we do a background? Or should we move on? Let's move on. Socks done. We're gonna get through these. There's there's gonna be one good one out of these. I just know it. We're just gonna wait for it. All right, next. No, 
not looking, not looking. Oh, please be your pastels. Carrot cake and markers. Speaking of markers. Speaking of markers, Emma. And I think Emma chose carrot cake. And that is definitely one I remembered. I remembered correctly. I'm hoping my sewing stuff gets delivered tomorrow so I can start a little project of the weekend. Might have to knit some froggy socks. Yes. I'm gonna do it. So these are the markers I'm gonna go with today. Uh, last week I did I did use um, Copic markers and I also used uh, Winter and Newton Pro markers on Sarah Dye's patron. But I'm gonna go with Ecoline today because I really like Ecoline. I haven't used them for ages. And I think as I'm if I was gonna choose a marker to like, it would be Ecoline or maybe Tombow. Oh yeah, Ecoline's lovely, aren't they? And carrot cake. Okay, so what colours will we need for carrot cake? Let's find a picture of a carrot cake first. Uh or should we just make it up? Should we make it up? No, let's find a picture. I probably will just make it up. But also it's nice to have a picture on screen so people know what we're drawing. Um, oh, this one's cool. Carrot, ugh, cheesecake, I hate cheesecake. Do you guys like cheesecake? Ugh, I've never liked it, the texture of it. Hmm, hmm. This one's nice, I'm not gonna draw this, but that's just, just in case you guys have never seen a carrot cake, it's, it's kind of what it looks like then. Although, are those real carrots coming out the top of that carrot cake? They are, aren't they? That's crazy, I've never seen that. Okay, we're gonna need orange, obviously. Maybe some peaches. Maybe a brown. Maybe a green. I think that should do. Maybe a blue for the background. Zoom. Oh my word. Some markers are getting away from me. I haven't had a carrot cake in ages. I haven't either. Instead, I need to take Chops out for his walk. All right, um, have a nice walk. Say hi to Chopper for me. One sec, guys. I just have to quickly do something. You guys are so curious as to what I did. It's a secret. Um, Katie loves cheesecake. Emma loves cheesecake. Fiona loves German cheesecake. I don't even know what's the difference between German cheesecake and other cheesecakes. Um, right. I don't like cheesecake. I'm not going to apologize for it. <laughs> I just always hated the texture, but I don't know why. All right, so let's just do this carrot cake. I'm gonna do like a typical cartoony slice. Like delicious slice of carrot cake. The really thick bit of icing, because that's always the best. Everyone knows that. What color is carrot cake? Brown, right? And then, should we do a little carrot on top? Because actually, I think that's kind of cute. Oh yeah, these markers are really nice. Actually, they go really nicely on this paper as well. There's um, a coffee shop that we go to pretty much every Saturday called Farmhouse Kitchen. And uh, we went there a couple of weeks ago. Well, maybe long ago, I can't remember. But we went there one time and they have like all these cakes in the, on the display case near the, near the counter. And they look really good. But obviously it's breakfast. I'm not gonna get a piece of, carrot for a piece of cake for breakfast, you know, as much as I want to. <laughs> so uh, I asked the guy because I asked the guy what if there was a cake that was vegan because I couldn't see they I just want to read them all can be bothered it's like a lot of words right so I was like are any of your cakes vegan and he looked and he he said oh yeah the carrot cake is and I was like the one with the vegetable of course I was just joking but I thought it was funny actually it's quite nice and refreshing that there is a cake that's vegan that isn't a flapjack Although I do love a flapjack, but it seems like that is the default cake when you go out that you can have. But if you, if anyone lives in the UK 
and you are ever going to um what are those places called national trust if you ever go to a national trust and they have a cafe there the flapjacks at national trust are uh, amazing they have one in summer a rhubarb flapjack which is my favorite and then they have a mixed berry flapjack in autumn and then they have a date flapjack which i just had a couple of weeks ago in winter i do know all the flapjacks of the seasons <laughs> <laughs> because we've been to quite a lot um we've been to quite a lot of what are they called what are they called again what did i just say uh, national trusts you've been to a lot of national trusts since you've lived here so this is brown cake i feel like the cake should have been orange and the icing should have been white now that i'm thinking about it because now it looks almost like caramel cake I love how juicy the eco lines are. Flapjack is the best. What's a flapjack? Wendy's asking what's a flapjack. I'm not quite sure how to answer that. Oh no. Jess, you're making me yawn now with your yawn emoji. I didn't mean to add the yawn, but now, now I'm infected with it. I used to love cheesecake, but now I'm lactose intolerant. Mm, you can't do you can't have non-dairy cheesecake though it's the thing uh if you really want some i personally wouldn't suggest it because as i've mentioned pop jack is gross i mean car carrot cake i mean cheesecake oh my god cheesecake is gross flapjack's amazing and carrot cake's good as well um what's a flapjack okay wendy a flapjack is like a granola bar i guess um but not hard it's like oats fruit maybe um butter i think that, yeah most of them use butter or butter alternative and then they like um cook it but not so it's crunchy so it's like soft and gooey and then you can put like fruit in it and oh god i want some now just thinking about it um it's made of oats butter sugar and something else love <laughs> <laughs> is it love i don't know i don't think it is i think it's here we go i'll see if i can find some pictures of me so it looks kind of like this this is like the plain boring flapjack um but the ones some of them have like this one has nuts and seeds in that's also a nice a nice option my favorite is the one with the fruit in like these with like the rhubarb or oh, this has got blackberry in the center mm. so good Let's just put on some cake. Get everyone hungry. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not quite sure about this cake. It doesn't look like a carrot cake at all, does it? It looks like a ch chocolate cake. I think this is the most random stream we've ever had, actually. I think next week I'll try and do something. Maybe we can start a stream project again, you know, when we did those paintings, but we just did the paintings on stream. Maybe we can do something like that. So I think that I just need a little bit of uh, structure, you know? Because otherwise, otherwise we end up with, with this and the mice over there. It is quite fun to like draw with different materials, I guess, though. All right, let's do a big, let's do a starburst around here, just because I think that'll be fun. Like, it's carrot cake, buy me, now on sale, $39.99. That's a very expensive carrot cake, guys. This is the worst starburst. <laughs> just, just wasted my, my eco line pens. I never draw with these. I should draw with them more. They're actually really lovely. They're way nicer than Tombows. I got into Tombows for ages. I don't know why. But these are nicer. And also, I think they actually have just watercolour in them, right? Um, the Tombows are nice as well. But the, the nib on these is so much nicer. Thick. Well, they sound delicious. I don't think we have an equivalent here in Canada. Sure you do. Maybe. 
If not, Wendy, I'll bring you some over when I come visit. Oh, Wendy, by the way, I'm coming to visit, just, just in case you didn't know. I'm not sure when, sometime in the future. I've got another friend in Canada called Sasha who I really want to visit too. She lives in near Vermont. I think she actually lives in Vermont. Wait, is Vermont in America? I'm thinking about Vancouver, aren't I? She lives in Vancouver. Okay, cool. There we go. Carrot cake! I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it looks like a delicious carrot cake. What do you think? Would you eat that? I, I, I'd eat that. I, I mean, I'd be confused. I'd be like, why is the ice in orange? But I would eat it. I wouldn't complain. We call those oat bars. That makes sense. We call them bars here, like a lemon bar, that kind of thing. Yeah. But we we have like a bar that would be a lemon like flavor, but we don't call it. It's not a flapjack. It's a completely different thing. What would it be? Lemon slice, maybe? For some reason, I thought a flapjack was a type of pancake. Because it's like flat, flat, like flap, flat jack. That would be so cool. Yes, Wendy. It would be so cool. Um, Wendy, where do you live? Where do you live? Again? <laughs> the best icing cake ratio. Now, this is the cake here. It's not too bad. It's like one third icing, two thirds cake. Definitely good. Okay, here we go. Right, guys, are we gonna get through all of these tonight? I've done four and it's only six, um, eight, so yeah, we should get through them all. All right, here we go. Window, someone chose window, and I put down oil pastels because no one had chosen that and we had too many duplicates of colored pencils. So for window, I thought we could do something fun and go to window swap. Open a new window somewhere in the world. It's upside down. <laughs> Okay, you gotta do this. You gotta do this, otherwise it doesn't. Um, okay, what? Let's see if we can work this out. Hello? Okay, this is not gonna work, guys. Um, sideways. Maybe I can just, okay, I'll just make this smaller for now. So professional. Okay, um, should we do this one? No, we'll do the next one because the problem is it goes for five minutes and then it, I think it goes for 10 minutes and then it goes to the next one. So we'll skip until we find one that we like, okay? So just yell when you see one that you like. Um, obviously it'll be too late by then, but uh, how do we, oh, open a new window. Okay, here we go. Some of them have sound. We don't want sound. I want, ooh, snow? No, I don't want snow. <laughs> don't want that. Uh, no, go away. Um, no, don't like that. No, that's just, no, no. I like the first one. <laughs> Let's go back to the first one again. Okay, this just shows you a little bit of my uh, indecision and, oh my God, look at the little floaties. So cute, aw, oh, burbs. Oh, universal, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's see this one. So this one, it looks like it's in England somewhere. Sheffield. I was right. Uh, uh, should we want to do England? England, we do England all the time. I live in England. Let's do somewhere else. Um, I, want to do, I want to go back to that first one. That was cool, wasn't it? With the, with all the buildings. Uh, the grass is always greener until it isn't. Okay, here we go. This one's in Switzerland. I just like all the windows and stuff. Um, let's see, did I miss any? That one's pretty. It, it was pretty, oh, Katie. I don't know what one you mean, no. I live in Kelowna, Cal about 4.5 hours away, but I could go stay with my sister for a bit. She works in Vancouver, that'd be cool. Well, definitely one day, I'm just not sure when. Okay, Um. I can't see, oh. Okay. I can say I can't see the image. I can only see the tiny thumbnail on the screen. I can only see this tiny, tiny thumbnail. So I'm just gonna go from here. And this is the oil pastels. Oh, this will be fun. Okay, so here's the oil pastels. So 
So I haven't used these apart from on Morgan's um, drawing sessions that she has, odd orange. And uh, uh, I haven't, yeah, this is like the first time using them not, not for that. So big moment guys, big moment. Flapjack's not a pancake. It's not a pancake, <laughs> no. Yeah, it'd be cool if it was though. I would, I would eat that. I would eat that pancake. You can kind of make uh, pancakes that are made from oats too. I've done that before. You know, you guys, you mix up the oats um, with the banana. You can do that, whiz it all together. You can make like a healthy pancake. Or well, gluten-free, I guess, if you are you can't have flour. So this is gonna be interesting because it's quite a small little page. I really enjoy the oil pastels. I want to use them more. They are really fun. And they work really nicely on this paper. They're like sliding across the paper, which is nice. I actually bought some oil pastel paper uh, just specifically for my oil pastels. I think it's for soft pastels though. Does anyone use pastel paper? And if so, is it meant to be for oil pastels and pastel, soft pastels or just soft pastels? Because I'm pretty sure it's just for soft pastels. Uh, I think that's what it means when it says pastel, pencil, pastel paper, but I could be wrong. I actually went into the art shop in our town. Uh, it's called Udell's, just, just in case you wanted to know. And I wanted to get like turpentine. <laughs> this was so long ago. This was like a month and a half ago and I still haven't used it. But I basically wanted to learn how to use pastels more and I wanted to try different techniques. So blending them using baby oil. I think I saw on YouTube, so I got some baby oil as well. And then also to use um, to use like the, the pastel paper properly and also turp turpentine to like dissolve it. And I went into the shop and there was a lady there and I was like, basically wandering around like looking at the all the turpentine and stuff thinking what the hell like what one do I use because there's so many of them and she came over and she was like how oh, hi um do you need a hand and I was like yes please help me so I told her I was looking for turpentine but I didn't know what one to get and there was like white spirits and there was this type of turpentine there was distilled turpentine and I was like I don't know what one to get and she said Oh, I'll just have to ask someone because I've only learnt about watercolours so far. And I think she maybe had just started at the shop and maybe like had just been going through a certain amount of the stock and like learning about it. I don't know why, I just thought that was so funny. Uh, but yeah, she she didn't she didn't really help. Cause she came back and she's she said, um, the other guy says that you can use this one. And it was the most expensive one, so I thought, <laughs> I bet he did. And then I just chose a cheap one and left. But I haven't actually used it yet. So yeah. So if you guys know, let me know. You can use the turpentine to blend your polychromos too. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I probably will never do that, but that is interesting. Interesting to know. Odorless mineral spirits should work. Okay, does anyone know about pastel paper though? I did get some stuff that's over there. I think it's called, it just says turpentine, turpentine on the bottle. So I don't actually know what it is. I need to have a play. I have, I wanna have a play with pastels properly one day, like trying to figure out how to use them properly. <laughs> I mean, I'm using them now. I'm not doing a terrible job but it would be fun to like know how to use them properly you know like when they say that you need to know the rules before you can break them that kind of thing um and also i got a whole bunch of our supplies last week this week last week this week god what week are we in uh we're in this week from jackson's arts but i haven't had time to even use them yet like i've opened them and i looked at them and i thought wow they're beautiful but I haven't had a chance to even play with them yet because I've been so busy at work. Um, which is fine. Like, work's really fun right now, so I'm not complaining. But, um, yeah, maybe this weekend I can sit down with them. Uh, what am I doing this weekend? I can't remember. Oh, on Saturday, guys, if you're free on Saturday at 5 p.m. UK time, um, I put it on my Instagram, but I'm doing a 
artist interview thing with Harmony Harden Art and it's it's about um, growing an art business with a full-time job which and then also I think one of the artists on there instead of the full-time job is um, like has a full-time family uh, kind of deal so it's uh, building up basically building an art business if you're busy doing like with art or have other responsibilities so yeah um check it out if you guys are around there'll be the replay as well um i'm not nervous i don't think i am i probably will be though because i've never done like an interviewee thing before and i think it will be a little bit nerve-wracking but i know how many anyway like we chat a lot so it's not like um it's not like i'm talking to a stranger you know and it's not like I've never been on YouTube before. <laughs> Such a pro. But yeah, I think that'll be fun. Katie, uh, Katie says, I'm excited to watch. Emma doesn't have a clue what pasta paper. Not a problem, Emma. Why didn't you try them now? Oh, why didn't I try them now? Well, Fiona, that's a great idea. And it's one that I did think about earlier. But I have to tell you something, Fiona. Trying new art supplies is a very spiritual thing for me. No, I'm just joking. I just like to have that. I like to just chill, put the music on, just, you know, just like experience, experience the materials. Uh, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I just, I just want to, I just want to have a look at them by myself, you know, for the first time. The first time is just me and the materials, but I'll tell you what they are. There's some paints, some gu uh, gouache that I got and some oh some um pastels like this but they're the neo pastels so i've never tried those before so i got some neo pastels just a few just like six um and also i'm waiting to get some materials from overseas which someone mentioned on stream last week i don't know who it was if you're here and you mentioned it thank you it was the the new ganzai tambi colors the muted colors they're like i think they're called the, the set is called Art Nouveau. They looked so pretty. And I couldn't find them online. Like everywhere that I looked, they were sold out. And to be fair, I only looked at two places, but they were sold out. So I put, uh, put the bat signal out on Instagram and I got um, a couple of links from different people. So I managed to get a set and I'm very excited. They're coming all the way from Japan though. So I don't know how long they're gonna take to get here, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a while. Oops, I made a mistake there. This building's meant to go down more. But look, you can kind of just go over the pastel. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And let's pretend there's some trees. There's actually no trees, but I've kind of run out of paper. So I'll pretend there's some trees here. Lovely, lovely. Do you guys, are you guys like that when you have new art supplies that you just wanna like just be just try them out i don't know that's why i don't think i like to do first impressions or reviews on youtube much with art past like art materials i think i like to try them and then then maybe just talk about them this has been my favorite one so far guys is this your favorite is this your favorite one so far i just really love pastels they're so much fun. I don't know why I never wanted to try them before. I think it's because they're messy and they are really messy too. But they're also super, super, super fun. Love how you blend the colours together. Thanks. I definitely have some favourite colours in this set that have, you can kind of see some of them are a little bit shorter than others. I mean, I've only used them a few times, but I really like the, the lighter colours and using the white to blend is really nice as well. Does anyone here use oil pastels much? I never thought I would like them. And then I think it was Sarah Dyer. Watching Sarah Dyer use them. It's normally always another artist that gets me into art, even if they don't know it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it was Sarah Dyer using oil pastels in her patron. And I just thought, I'll give it a go. It's good enough for Sarah. It's good enough for me. <laughs> so I picked them up and they're really fun. I've never tried oil pastels. You might like them, Wendy. You, you've tried, you've done oil paints though, right? I don't know if they're the same as oil paints because I, 
I only ever used oil paints once and that was when I was at school. Like I used them for a while, I used them for a couple of months. But I never really liked them. I think it's because they take so long to dry. And I'm very, oh, I just realized the thing has just changed. That's fine, we know what we're doing. Draw some houses. Um, yeah, I think it's because they take absolutely ages to dry and I never liked that about them. And I guess oil pastels, maybe you can get kind of the same deal like the same feeling of oil paints but without the wasting time all right here we go these are some houses and then also i'm not going to do it tonight but what i was doing is i was using the graphite i was using the graphite pencil like this one here and you can actually draw over the oil pastels with them which is really nice so i'm trying not to mix the media tonight but i can show you on here like how well they go over. And I don't actually think technically they go over the pastels. I think they just scrape through the pastels. It's so like, um, do a little smiley face like this. And then I don't know if you can see on, oh, here we go, beauty um, view. They just scrape through the pastel and they pick up the pastel as they go. Yay, five down, three to go. I wonder what's gonna be next. My lips, my lips get so dry in the live streams. Yes, all the talking. I have wanted to try oil, oil sticks though. Is that basically like an oil pastel? An oil stick? Is it similar? Put these away for another day. They're really nice though. These these guys are really nice. They're Dell Green. Let me just put them in the box and I can show you them properly. Hello? Okay. Dell Green Artist Grade. Um, healing Colors is what they're called. And I got these guys from that AliExpress, which I don't really like AliExpress, but sometimes you can only get stuff from there. Like if you wanna get refills of jelly gouache, you can only really find them on AliExpress. Emma's off. Okay, bye Emma. Uh, enjoy doing the rest of them. Thank you. I will try, although I don't know what we have left. Maybe they're similar, maybe. Oil stick is just oil paints in a more solid stick form. Maybe they're, yeah, they're probably similar. Okay, lobsters and gouache. Lobsters is such a fun one. I forgot who, I forgot who said lobsters have got the hiccups. But uh, lobsters is such a fun one, I like that. I like it very much. Now the only problem is, like I mentioned, I forgot to clean up my palette. So, <laughs> do you guys want to see where I keep my gouache? We got these last year, sweeties, and I keep all my gouache in here. Technically gouache is sweeties. So I have a whole bunch of different gouache. I have, what's this one? Royal Talents. I like the Royal Talents one. They're really nice actually. Um, Winter Newton. What else? I have another one. Royal Talons, Winsor Newton. You know, you guys gonna think I'm lying to you now? I'm like, you never had another one. I did. I promise. I don't know what they are though. Okay, well they're not in here, but I swear I did. I did have another set. I think it was Hol Holbein. No, it wasn't Holbein. Okay. Well, anyway, lobsters. What color are lobsters? They're like pink. No, no. They're red. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go back to Pinterest and we can make this the right size again, which will be nice because that was really awkward having that strange size. And let's go to lobsters. So we're going to try and find a live lobster, not um lobster recipe because I don't want to. Alive! The lobster is alive! No, we're right, animal. Lobster animal. That should hopefully give us live lobsters. Oh, wow, wow. Blue lobsters. Are lobsters blue in real life? Like, are they blue and then when they cook, do they go red? Is that how it works? I've never cooked a lobster before, so I wouldn't know. What is this? Oh, I didn't know you could get so many different colored lobsters, guys. Um... I haven't really got any good quality gouache. I have some Michael Store brand. Technically brown if not cooked. Hmm, brown you say. Hmm. But look, this is a blue lobster. So it looks like you can get blue lobsters. 
So this is a crayfish. I don't know if it is. I think we'll do a blue lobster because that's kind of fun. I've never seen that before. And I think that could be fun, kind of fun, right? Blue lobster. Let's just do this one here. I don't know if it's probably dead. Because honestly, what lobster is going to just sit like that for you to take a photo? But we'll do this one anyway. <laughs> we'll draw this dead blue lobster because it'll be, it'll be fine. Don't worry, guys. I can't fit the whole thing on the screen. I can see it over my computer, but you guys can just see this little bit. Sorry. I doubt anyone's going to be drawing a lobster, though, to be fair. Uh, all right, cool. So we're going to be doing blue lobster now, but we might do it like weird colors. Like, I really love this purpley color. I actually really love this olive colour too. Um, what other colours can we do? Yeah, let's just do these. So I haven't used gouache on its own before. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to work because I don't have palettes. I might just have to pop some on some paper. People do that, right? I met a red live lobster. Did you meet him, did you? You can see that this one here has exploded, the aqua one exploded at some point. Okay, but well, we're gonna do a blue lobster with some greens and a little bit of purple. And I don't have a palette like I mentioned, but we'll just use this paper, I think. And hopefully this is gonna work as a palette. And then I also have this very, very dirty water here. It's basically black right now. So that should also add a little bit of uh, texture, I guess. They don't stay blue once they're cooked. I bet they don't. All right, cool. Let's begin. So like I said, I haven't just used gouache on its own before. So I'm not quite sure how this is gonna turn out, but we're just gonna hope for the best. Because the problem is, it takes a while to dry, right? So we might have to come back to it. I think it's gonna be okay though. I haven't painted with gouache for so long. Like gouache gouache. Like this gouache, gouache gouache. Painted with jelly gouache. Um, what else, acrylic gouache. But I haven't painted with gouache gouache for a while. And it's something that I would really like to learn more about, like actually just painted in gouache, because I think you can get some really beautiful art with it. Like people that do it make amazing stuff. Just one of those things about patience again, you know? Like having the patience to do it and learn and stuff. I've got to head off, but good luck with the love star. Thanks, Morgan. Have a lovely evening. This blue is exploding out of the, the tube. Okay, so let's make a lobster, guys. Um, should we make a sketch first or should we just go for it? Let's just go for it, yeah? I don't know how this paper's gonna be either. So, <gasps> the color's so nice. Every time, I, every time I go back to a material that I haven't used for a while, I just want to use that material all the time. Do you guys feel like that sometimes? I think maybe it's because it's new and we haven't used it for a while. But, I mean, I never, it never stays like that. Like I never say, oh, I'll use squash for like a month now. It's probably for the next two or three drawing sessions, then I kind of forget about it. And I go back to using mixed media again. Can I make like a rainbow gouache? Uh, rainbow. <laughs> a rainbow gouache. I'm going to make a rainbow lobster. Which I think is going to be fun. Because I know that we can decide on what colours the lobsters are. <laughs> Maybe we don't need to decide, guys. The lobster can be any colour we want. Have, has anyone seen the film? Is it called Lobster or The Lobsters or something? Has anyone seen that? It's like a really arty film and it's about a guy, he's got like lobster claws for hands. Came out a while ago, like a few years ago now. But Martin, when Martin and I first met, we were working in, in this job um, and with a few other people and our work was in this 
place in Southampton, oh Emma's not here, but Emma would know it, um, called Ocean Village and there was a couple of cinemas there. One was uh, like an, a normal cinema, like you can, you'd go and watch, you know, your Marvel films and your blockbusters and stuff and then they had this arty cinema and I don't think we knew it was arty at the time but we decided, like a whole group of us from work decided to go see a film one night and we went to see this film called The Lobster which we didn't really know much about but yeah, it's a film, you know. And it was the weirdest, strangest film uh, in like this arty cinema that I'd ever seen. I've never been to an art, an art film house before. It was very interesting. Um, and when I say interesting, I mean, I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest. Would have preferred a popcorn film. <laughs> when I go to the cinema, I just want to be entertained. I don't want to think about anything, you know. But has anyone seen it? The Lobster. I think it was actually quite critically acclaimed at the time. I can't remember who it had in it. A half of me wants to say it had um, Joaquin Phoenix. I think it had Joaquin Phoenix in it. That is the way I'm right now with pencil drawing and then inking. You can't, like you go back and forth between them, Katie, and you can't decide which one. Sometimes I think we just like to try new things with a little bit of procrastination, you know? I actually quite like this lobster that's all di different colours. So um, there's a big part of me that wants to use pencil and stuff because it's very messy and I feel like I can't tidy it up with paint. So I don't quite have the brush skills to do that, especially when I'm using such a thick brush like this. Why did I pick such a thick boy? I start with pencil, then ink the lines, then add colour. Alright, so the whole process. That's kind of like what I used to do when I first started drawing actually. Um, I used to do watercolour, watercolour, and uh, I yeah, used to ink it like a black ink, like water, waterproof ink pen, and then go for watercolour. Uh, I think I was watching a lot of, is it Danica Stills? Danica, I can't remember her name, I'm sure you guys know Danica Stills. She's like a really cool watercolour artist, and I used to watch her a lot, like a lot, a lot, when I was first starting to draw. Which is funny because our stars are so completely different. But at the time I really thought that I had to learn. <laughs> I really thought I had to learn watercolour if I wanted to be an artist. I thought that was like what made you pro. Which is funny. Because I never use watercolour now. Our German French teacher kept taking us to these RT films. She was so pretentious. I don't think, it, yeah, I think we had to watch a couple of RT films when I was in uni because I was studying film. Like, it wasn't film. The class, the course wasn't film. The course was mixed. It was multimedia. So it was a mix of everything. But we did film, we had a film class for two years. And I'm trying to find my other paintbrush, sorry. I can't find it. It's a skinny one. I have a skinny paintbrush for details, but I, oh here it is, it's underneath the box. It's not really that skinny actually, it's like, what is this called, a filbert? I can't remember what I was saying. I'm sure it wasn't important. I love watercolour as a base under pencils and neo colours. Yeah, maybe I should try that more often because I normally use paint pens or acrylic paint, but the problem with, with acrylic paint and paint pens is that they're very glossy and it's quite difficult to draw over, especially with coloured pencil after. So maybe I should go back to using watercolour a bit more. See if that helps. Does this look like a lobster? It kind of does, right? It looks like a lobster. It looks also like a terrifying spider, you know? <laughs> like it looks like something you would not want to meet in the dark. We've been uh, keeping our wispy spiders around, you know, like the daddy long legs kind of wispy spiders. We've been keeping them around. Normally we vacate them from the area, but then I was reading, I can't remember if I was reading something or someone told me, that uh, you gotta keep the wispy spiders around because they actually hunt the big fat house spiders. 
So if you have the wispy spiders, that the big fat house spiders, you won't see them. Uh, so yeah, we 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 decided to keep all the wispy ones around because they don't bother me. Like they just chill out, you know. Just they leave them to their own devices. They're fine. And then literally that week that we came downstairs and in the lounge one of the big wispy spiders was crawling away from like the carcass of this huge house spider that had just like collapsed so it wasn't big but you could tell it had been big spider and mom was like whoa it was right like that because i think i read somewhere that daddy long legs this is daddy long legs i think they are the most poisonous of all the spiders but um their fangs aren't um, strong enough to penetrate the human skin. I think I read that somewhere. Like, guys, if you know anything about this, let me know if I'm completely wrong. Because I could be. But I feel like I've read that somewhere. When I was younger and just remembered it. My mum hates Daddy Long Legs. She has this fear of them because when she was younger, her brother and sister played a horrible prank on her where they got a butterfly. Oh, it's not Daddy Long Legs, it's the flying ones, the crane flies. They collected heaps of crane flies in like a butterfly net. I don't know, I mean, this was back in the 60s. So God knows what kids would do, <laughs> what they did for fun back then. But uh, yeah, they collected all these crane flies in a net and they put it over my mom's head. And basically like, she was just surrounded by these Daddy Long Legs. She has such a fear of like, crazy fear of them. Like you start shaking, even if like we talk about them, she'll start like shaking. Which is it's crazy to think that someone could have a fear about like that strong that they can't even like hear the word. What a colour is my comfort medium? I wonder what my comfort medium is. I wanna say mixed media, but I think that's cheating, isn't it? You can't just say, oh mixed media, because that's like every single media known to man and woman and child. I'm very in love with watercolours, it's become an obsession. What's your favourite watercolours, Wendy? I do have some um, Daniel Smiths and they are lovely watercolours actually. They are a joy to paint with. I just, I feel like watercolour is something that you need to really learn how to use. Like you, I know that is you can't really control it, but I feel like you need to kind of like learn how to work with it, you know, like as a team. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here. I'm not gonna do a background. So do Should I do a background? I'll do a background. I always change my mind. <laughs> we'll do like a really watered down background. And we'll keep like white, a white um, outline. I like doing sometimes and this paper actually surprisingly has been okay with the liquid like it's but you can see it's buckling here I don't know if you can see on screen but it is buckling as I put the water on that's not actually bad Katie's off gotta sign off now we'll try to catch the rest on reply okay Katie uh, I had a daddy long legs as a pet for years oh my word I didn't know they lived that long what was his name? And how did you have him as a pet for years? Like I, I honestly didn't think spiders could live that long. That's cool though. I wish that I wasn't scared of spiders. Like I'm not terribly scared of them. I don't like have a phobia. Um, especially after moving here because we have so many spiders here. Uh, it's actually quite ridiculous how many spiders we have. And I've never had that before because I've always kind of lived in the city. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit, I'm kind of getting like a little bit used to spiders now, but I still wouldn't pick a spider up or I wouldn't feel comfortable if it was like next to me, you know? I wish I was though. I wish I didn't have a fear. I think it would be useful in some such situations. Bloody hate spiders. But Daddy Long Legs don't bother me as much for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. I think Daddy Long Legs are just like the weird kid at school. When you're just like, okay, creep, just just stay like just stay in your corner. Like enjoy your life. But I don't need you to come and talk to me. But then the spiders are like the, the big bullies, you know? Who would like 
corner you and take your lunch money. I feel like this is just a lot of American, um, <laughs> a lot of American high school movie cliches that I'm talking about right now. None of this ever happened to me. I went to a girls school though, so actually girls are a lot worse than, worse than boys, I think, with, with bullying. Maybe not physically, but man, girls can be mean. I got actually teased quite a lot when I was in high school because uh, when I moved to New Zealand, I obviously had a bit of an English accent and I culturally like didn't know much about the culture. So I was quite different in that aspect. And I got teased quite a lot actually just from being from England, which I thought was kind of weird. But hey, each to their own, you know. My current faves are Daniel Smith's and Schminke. I don't think I have any Schminke. Is that how you pronounce it, Schminke? I feel like it is. I feel like my German is on point because I'm pretty sure last week I said something and in German and Fiona, I believe it was you who said I had a really good pronunciation. So I took that, um, <laughs> that basically went to my head. And now in my head, I can speak fluent German. <laughs> Oh, speaking of German, has anyone watched, um, okay, no spoilers because I'm only two episodes in, but has anyone started watching 1899 yet? And if you have, what do you think of it? I'm only two episodes in and honestly, guys, I thought it was going to be as good as Dark because it's by the creators of Dark. It's got the main guy in it from Dark. And maybe it's because I've just finished watching Dark like a couple of months ago. I just missed Dark. <laughs> I don't it's not as good as dark yet, but I am only two episodes in so I'm sure it'll get better It's one of those programs where you don't know what is going on until the very end like when everything comes together Okay, I feel like I shouldn't have done the background <laughs> I feel like sometimes I take things too far All right, well, that's the lobster. I mean you can kind of kind of see the lobster in there. It's very uh, abstract. Alright, last one. Actually, no, it's not the last one. We got, we got two more. Oh, do we have three more? We have three more. Alright, guys, I can only do one more because I'm getting quite tired now. So, I'm going to do one more. Alright, let's see what they are. A house. Someone said house. Someone said English country house. So, I did... And coloured pencil. Ugh, I don't want to do coloured pencil again. Let's pick another one. Crayons! I didn't cheat at all. Woof woof. Alright, last one we're going to do is an English country house with crayons. So I actually have my crayons here. Literal, literal crayons. Not like fancy crayons. Just Crayola crayons, which I think will be fun. You guys ever just draw my crayons? It's actually really fun. I still have him. He lives under my bed. Oh, keeps you company at night time. That's nice. And let's find an English country house. I'm literally going to type in the word English country house. We'll see what comes up. I heard that New Zealanders and Australians are really mean to people with different accents. I don't think they are generally. Oh gosh, I've not put this into Pinterest. My mistake. Yeah, I don't think they are generally. I think New Zealanders, I don't know about Australians. I've only been to Australia a couple of times. But New Zealanders are lovely. Um, it's lovely people and culture and country. But, um, you know, just kids. Kids are cruel, aren't they? Uh, and I think they just... I, I didn't, like, when I was younger, I never, I got teased. I don't know if I got bullied. Uh, I was never really, I never really felt, you know, mentally hot or emotionally harmed or anything it was just like kids teasing each other like, like just making fun of people uh, i used to get made fun of my ears as well because when i was younger my ears were this size but my head was like a third of this size <laughs> my ears were like stuck out like this and i used to get called dumbo quite a bit but uh it never really bothered me to be honest i'm sure i did at the time but i can't remember it bothering me now um, trying to find a country house. These are all like country manners. They want like a cute cottage. You know? 
my cottage at the end and see what that brings us. <gasps> oh, this one's so cool. I've actually drawn that one before, this one here. Should we draw it again? It's really cute. I don't think this is, it doesn't look like it's in England, to be honest. But Pinterest says it is, so maybe it is. Who knows? Sorry about teasing you went through. I had a similar experience. I love the lobster. Nice job. Oh, thank you. Gonna head off now. All right. Have a lovely night. Um, Claire says, if you come to South Australia, your accent is very similar to ours. Nice. Um, I've never been to uh, South. I've only ever been to Sydney. I was definitely bullied when I was a kid, but never beat up because I was always taller than everyone. Yeah, I don't think girls get beat up really, do they? I think that's more of a boy thing. I think uh, girls is more kind of um, the emotional warfare, you know? Just like saying as many spiteful things as they can. Which is sometimes worse, I think. All right, let's draw this house. And then this is gonna be the last thing we do because um, you can probably tell my throat's getting a bit croaky now. It always does this. Croaky throat towards the end of the night. Right. So yeah, if you guys if you guys haven't drawn with Crayolas um, for a while, like since you were a kid, I would recommend it. It is really fun. Not to do, I wouldn't do it like with if you wanted to make a beautiful piece of art, but it's really nice just to kind of um, warm up, I guess, or just do something that's really low pressure, like low key, because when you're drawn with them, they're not very high quality, obviously and it almost takes you back to when you're a kid like even even the smell of them like reminds you of being a child um and i actually got these from my last job uh i think i got i can't remember it was like the american company that i worked for and they sent it over in like a little package like a little thank you package i guess or like a appreciation package and I can't remember what was in the package. It was like a, maybe a Christmas thing. But one of it was a box of Crayolas for your inner child or like a box of crayons to keep like you young or something. I can't remember exactly what the wording was, but it was basically like, it was one of those like throwaway gifts that people in companies think is fun, you know, to get to waste money on. And at the time I was like, cool what am I gonna do with this box of crayons but actually it's come in handy I've used them quite a lot the smell of play-doh always brings me back to playing as a kid yeah play-doh my mom used to make um handmade my mom used to make us play-doh because I think she said play-doh was too expensive to buy so she would make us play-doh out of flour and salt and water so it wasn't really the same, <laughs> but it was, uh, it was fun. And you could eat it too. Can you eat Play-Doh? Like, can you actually eat normal Play-Doh? I don't know. I think I've done this wrong. Yeah, this roof is meant to come under here. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just make the house up. It's not a problem. Um... And someone said hi. Oh my word, that's um, a mouthful of a name. Sven, Svenskart. Is that how I pronounce your name? Can I call you Sven? Because Sven is a cute name. And also reminds me of the reindeer from Frozen. Was his name Sven? Or was it Finn? Or was the guy called Finn? Or was no one called Sven? And no one called Finn. And I'm just thinking of a different film. Which could also be the case. I used to eat the homemade one so salty. Yeah, I used to eat it too. I'm pretty sure my mum told me not to, but hey. <laughs> it was tasty. <laughs> okay, mum. Oh, speaking of um, homemade dough, we made bread today and it was so good. Because we made it a couple of weeks ago. We made bread and it didn't turn out very well. Uh, I think maybe we... I can't remember. I don't know what we did to it. Martin made it. I just watch him make things and he makes things and I tidy the kitchen up after. And that's kind of like our division of labour. But as far as bread is concerned... So he made this bread a couple of weeks ago and it didn't turn out very good, it was very dense. So we made it one today and we thought it was gonna be like also really bad because it rose and it was like huge, like this big. And then put, we could put the slits in it and it just like went as flat as a pancake or a flapjack, depending on your preference. And uh, we were like, put it in the oven and we were like, this is gonna turn out bad as well. 
but I think it because it was thinner and it cooked all the way through and the last loaf didn't cook all the way through and it was a bit doughy it was chef's kiss it was so good we had it with homemade broccoli soup which I made uh, yesterday and it was the most delicious lunch and now I'm hungry just thinking about it guys I just love food so much Um, my grandma made us play dough too and she would make a huge batch but it would always be the same colour. I think my mum didn't even have colours, she just made it um, dough colour. Uh, actually Svenja, is it Fed Svenja? Is the, the J uh, like a ya sound? Sven was the moose, I, th I thought he was. Wait, reindeer, wasn't it a reindeer? Or was he a moose? I don't know. I, I haven't seen Frozen for a while. I went. I did watch it again recently when I watched Frozen 2. Frozen 2 was good. And then I watched the on um, Disney. If you guys have Disney Plus, if you get even like Disney, maybe you don't like Disney, but I don't really like Disney that much. But on Disney Plus, they had like this making of, like a three part, three part, four part series making of Frozen, and it was actually really emotional. I cried at the end because it was kind of emotional like how they put all the story together and everything and how, like how the film came together and all the cast and the crew and just how much they worked in it and how much it meant to them I don't know I thought it was really emotional and I cried a little bit at the end not ashamed to admit it I have a heart guys I have a heart the problem with Crayolas is man the colors do not go together and you can never tell what color it's going to be until you draw on it because all these colors like all these Please someone tell me if you can tell the difference between all these blues. They have all the same blooming colour th on them. Come on Crayola, get your act together. Yes, yes I got it right, yay. I'm trying to figure out how to do the door here. I think this is probably... I mean, this isn't the worst, even the worst of the night, this this one. And it's, it's made of Crayola, guys, so... I don't know if that means anything. Did we learn anything from that? I don't know. Let's do the door in the middle. Yeah, I probably won't do anything with these... <laughs> with these random sketches I did tonight. I'll probably just... Maybe I'll cut them up for collage. Could be kind of fun. I never enjoyed drawing with Crayola because my hands got too dirty. They're not too bad actually. After you've been using Neo Colors and pastels, uh, these are actually pretty clean. I guess as a kid though, you don't really know what a Neo Color is. I don't even think Neo Colors were a thing when I was a kid. They're a fairly new concept. Actually, these are really hard. Like, uh, not hard to draw with, but they're very. The material is very, because I guess it's so like a thin, a thick, a, a hard wax. It's not like the Neo Color where it's very creamy and it has a really nice feel. This is a um, very hard crayon. So it's not actually the nicest to draw with. Uh, also I am drawing on this wooden board too, which isn't very nice. But it's all good. I think, yeah, next week we'll do something else. We'll do a project. We'll do something properly. I'll try, actually try and make some actual proper art on the stream. Rather than, like, random sketches. If you guys can think of anything that you'd like, that you think we could do as a project. There are a few side projects that I'm trying to do right now. So maybe we can do some of that. Like, either some children's book stuff. Or I also have a couple of sketchbooks that I'm trying to fill. Oh, you know what we could do? Um, I'm trying to do some monster stuff. You know, like for Peachtober, I did um, the monsters. I have a few pages left in my sketchbook, and I was thinking about doing uh, like monster, monster stuff. I don't know if that's kind of boring though, because we just saw that in, we just saw that in um, in Peachtober. So maybe that's kind of boring. Well, we'll think of something. Um, I don't want to do like an individual thing, like 
her, like you just mentioned, meerkats. I kind of want to do like a project um, landscape or something or something to do with illustration, but like a long project that we can do maybe over like a month. So like four, maybe four live streams and it'll just be a project just for a live stream. So maybe I'll think of something because then that way you guys can come back and you can follow along with the project. And then also we have a little bit more structure because we're up, yeah, like doing this doesn't really have much structure to the stream. It's kind of a bit random, which is fine if you like random stuff. All right, anyway, I think I'm almost finished. <laughs> this is so funny. How many colors? Okay, guys, we finished. I'm gonna bring all the pictures on. <coughs> you make great monsters, thanks Wendy. I've got about 13 uh, pages left in my monster sketchbook and I really wanna finish it and I don't, I want it to be themed. So I want it to be, um, yeah, I want it to still say monsters, not, not switch to something else. Okay, let's see what we did tonight. So we did so many random things. It's all over the place tonight. But let me know what your favorite one is. I already have a favorite one. So first, we did cat. His massive head and his tiny face cracked me up. We did cat with neo colors. Then we did mice with um, ink and dip pen. Then we did, um, this was froggy. It was frogs, what was it frogs? And Christmas present with um crayons not crayons pencils and then carrot cake with markers um window this was looking through a window with oil pastels lobster gotta get them right lobster with gouache and the last one <laughs> i'll just hide it because i don't really like it <laughs> uh house with crayons so yeah, these are all the ones we did. What one, what one do you guys like the best? I think I like the oil pastels the best, but they're all kind of just like random sketches. So all over the place. And you can see my style changes completely from one to another, depending on what I'm drawing with, which is kind of fun. Nice little collection. <laughs> yeah. None of them go together, but yeah, it's kind of fun to see what we did, I guess. So yeah, that was that. And there's um, a couple more left, I'll tell you what they are. I'm not gonna draw them, but frog, which we kind of did with the things. And the last one was tiger, which actually this cat almost looks like a tiger. So I think we successfully completed the challenge tonight. So thank you if you gave me a suggestion. Um, yeah, I'll think of something to do for next, the next live stream. Um, something that could, we could like maybe make, like we can do the sketches for next week and then the week after we can start painting and then we can like continue painting and then we can finish and it'll be like a nice little project that we can do. Um, yeah, I'll think of something. So the mice one, you like the mice the best? Ooh, I think that was one of my least favorites. I think my favorite is the pastels. I quite like the lobster actually, it's kind of fun. So uh, that was the stream guys. I uh, hope that you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit all over the place and a bit of a strange one tonight, but we did try a lot and I do have a lot to tidy up now. So that'll be fun for me. But I hope that you guys have a lovely rest of your evening uh, or your daytime. And yeah, uh, don't forget on Friday, I'm gonna be on YouTube at 5 p.m. on Harmony Harden's um, channel doing that little interview. So come watch that one if you want. And yeah, apart from that, I guess I'll just uh, catch you guys around, around the internet. So uh, I'll say goodnight, have a lovely, have a lovely night, um, bye.